A 2017 trip back to Africa changed a Clearwater woman's life. She saw lowly living conditions and people drinking dirty water. She knew nothing about harvesting fresh water, but she knew that she just had to help. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road with an African native making a difference from Florida. It was stressful as a kid. Okay. Some memories you just can't shake. And I just saw like that sense of fear. Bombings blot. Nermeen Kuzam Rubin's memory, growing up in Egypt, a land she left behind at six years old. Uh, there's just certain memories that you remember that small. Those early memories of Africa shaped this Largo woman. The new ones she's making there are reframing it all. Every year she would ask, every year I would say no. Nermeen's teenage daughter invited mom on a missions trip to Africa in 2015. She reluctantly went. So we go to these remote villages and that is what haunted me. There's no water, so they have no means. They had no no life in their eyes. They just had like despair. They're in this, in this vicious cycle of poverty that they don't know how to get out of. Those villagers tugged on her heart and drove her to found Water for Mercy, an outreach aimed at saving life through clean water. We have eight village, villages right now that have clean water. Over 20,000 people have been helped in Tanzania because of Water for Mercy. And when you think about those 20,000 people, it's got to just warm your heart, right? I can't even tell you. We had this woman stand up to say, I feel pretty. I feel pretty now. I can wash myself. I could bathe. I don't have to walk five hours to get water that's dirty. Thank you for making me feel pretty. And I just started crying. They're able now to provide clean water for their children. Those memories of bombs are still there, but Nermeen has squeezed them aside in favor of new memories of people in Africa saved by water. We're all human people. We all need dignity.